Hello everyone. Today we will do some critical reading of Victorian novel Far From the Mending Crowd which is written by Thomas Hardy. As previously we have tried to make summarize the whole novel, now we will try to look upon some of the critical reading of that novel. So today in this section we will do some of the reading of male characters how they are look forward or look ahead to the women's especially reference with the bachiba and we will see that how they are looking to the bachiba the first person on this series we will see gabriel ock the title is bachiba through the eye of gabriel ock as the first chapter of the novel four shadows gabriel ock is the one of the main male protagonists of the novel the reader is first acquainted with him at the very beginning of the novel through a detailed description of his stable character and representation representable manners but more importantly it is through ox eye when the reader become acquainted with bachiba eldrin the novel's female anti heroine means first the description of gabriel ox and his economic condition and his characteristics we will we look there and after that when the turn comes on bachiba that at that moment it's a change what the change come the change is that now the as an a being reader we not get a chance to see bachiba separately how we seeing gabriel ock but unfortunately we have to see bachiba as an a character by gabriel ock's eye so how that gabriel was looking at bachiba we will interpret bachiba's characters means it's a someone's reflection that we will copy or after someone's reaction we are reacting that must be the person is like that hope so you guys can understand the next para observing her from a distant the first thing ok notice about bachiba is her outstanding beauty this is almost directly followed by a notion of her vanity though which ok must have consider anti christianity and thus overtell negative the moment he observe her in secret bachiba happens to be looking into a mirror sm- smiling and blushing her- at her own reflection which makes ok believe she must be a vain woman means what we see that he was looking secretly to bachiba and uh, at the time what bachiba was doing she was uh, looking at mirror and smiling and blushing as that uh, women typically women are doing in victorian era so the the narration of bachiba it's also a representation of a victorian society that how man looks toward the woman and how the narration of women seen by someone male's perspective next we see that the short yet important scene is in fact an illusion of the biblical story here thomas hardy put some of the mythical stories in a new way the story is about queen israel involuntarily figured after a first being observed naked seen preparing to a bath and lusted of king david so it means that thomas hardy has a good knowledge about myths and he try to able to put that myth in a modern way within his own narrative technique so at the same time he represent that king david and that queen of israel myth represent by bachiba and gabriel ock so that's make a great sense 
that modern writers and the Victorian writers are what they are doing actually that make a sense. So we have to study that one. Hope so that you guys are able to understand that how that the old mythical stories are convert into the new example with another character's reflection. At the same point, she find herself seduced by him, even though their secret relationship result of in marriage, it is not the happy ending that is important about the story. It is the influence of male gaze that power of man will which result from it. Yet another moment of being observed by Oak, Bachiva is caught riding a horse in a manner hard expected of women. Means it's a quite a new thing that a woman are riding on a horse. So it's an ironically satire just because in a Victorian era that women are not get that much freedom. On that time, Bachiva was uh, riding on a horse. It means something is new. Yet again, refusing to adhere to the generally expected norm of femininity as a John Lucas observe Bachiba experience oak gaze at the moment as having an aggressive possessive nature however as the following example shows it has not only oak's gaze that was being oppressive and judgmental now we have seen uh, until that we have seen Gabriel Oak's uh, feeling or emotion about Bathsheba. But suddenly when she was responding, how that person's mindset was changing, we will see here. In, this, in his reaction to Bathsheba's refusal of marriage, he has just proposed to her Gabriel very bluntly expressive criticism of her better judgment upon my heart and soul. I don't know what a mind can say stupid than that. Means now that girl or the woman who is pretty, beautiful, very blushing. But now that a woman suddenly become a uh, mad woman. Or stupid woman. Why? Just because she refused the marriage proposal. Notably, he consider her opinion on marriage as stupid because she has a maid and according to her a general value held by the society at the time. Any proper young woman in a marriage age should be placed by the prospect of marriage. Here not adhering to the ideal he had in mind lead to or disappointment in Bachiba and it most certainly changed his vision of her. Moreover, in the obviation example suggests that Victorian men held a strong belief that as long as they adhered to the values generally acknowledged by society, they were free to criticize or every judge woman simply for not conforming to their Victorian ideal of feminine. And what are the Victorian ideal feminine is that on the age of marriage, that lady has to be married. If they are not going to be married, then they must be become, uh, the times people will tell that they are stupid or that the foolish or mad women if they are not going to marry. So, that, that was the first interaction about uh, Gabriel Ock and Bathsheba. In the next episode, we will see Bathsheba and Sergeant Troy's interaction and how they 